I want to point out that the United States is making moves between Taiwan and China once again. Oftentimes, these military moves are made out of nowhere. Sometimes they fly right under the radar, get swept under the rug, or just not mentioned at all by some of the outlets out here. In this instance, it's a pressure tactic by the United States with everything going on in Venezuela, the Chinese support for what's going on there, amongst other things. The United States is keeping pressure on China in this region. Now, China's been going out throughout the South China Sea, building up these areas and these shoals, making them military type of islands and, and bases and checkpoints. And they've been threatening to retaliate against the United States with some of their generals saying that they would sink their ships or they need to. And there's been multiple times here where the United States has sailed their ships right through the strait between Taiwan and China. You're talking about getting right up under the belly of China. So, of course, they're nervous about this. Xi Jinping is basically stating that as long as he's in power, one of his main goals and objectives is to get Taiwan back under their control. If they were to lose any more control of this region, well, let's just stop and look at it like this. The United States is already setting up shop there. In, in my book, they've already lost it. Taiwan is looking to buy dozens of F-16s and tanks from the United States. If this all really goes down and they start to move this stuff in there, then this is just a launch pad to attack China. And I could see China really retaliating against Taiwan in a big way with it being so close and them trying to wrestle it back. But wanted to make mention of it, these moves being made right up on their coastlines. I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu 7.